Welcome back to the Sunbelt Social Suite. Joining me now, our final guest of the afternoon. We have Georgia State head coach Trent Miles joining us. Coach, thanks so much for making some time to come out here and answer some of the questions these fans want to know. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into some of these questions we got from sure. Twitter. What are some of the freshmen that people can look for to make an immediate impact this fall? Well, there'll be quite a few for us because we graduated 27 players, and uh, you can only sign 25, and we're, we're down on numbers. We'll be under the 85, so uh, we will have to play quite a few of them. Uh, we'll have Amir Scaife competing for the quarterback job. Uh, we'll have a wide receiver or two, uh, Tevish Clark, Glenn Smith, uh, Messiah Francis competing for positions at the receiver position. Uh, Shandon Sullivan uh, can either play defensive back or wide receiver. You'll see him competing. Um, there'll be a lot more, and uh, you know you, you don't want to leave somebody out, but we signed 20, 24 guys, and they'll all get their shot. So uh, hopefully somebody can step in and, and contribute right away. Now you got an early shot to, to contribute because you guys are actually the ones who are going to get everything started. The first FBS football game of the season, Georgia State Abilene Christian on the big stage on ESPNU. What does it mean for you for exposure to be able to have your team be able to play on that national level? Well, it would be great exposure if we win. <laughs> it would be horrible <laughs> if we lose. So, you know, it, it's it's going to be exciting. You know, it, you know, you're the first college game of the year. Uh, on the draw on the back side of it that worries you as a coach uh, to get the waiver to play on a Wednesday they won't the NCAA won't allow you to report to camp any earlier so you'll actually lose about three practices so you're going to be three practices short if you would if you played at the normal date but uh, you know the Georgia Dome was not available so we had to move it up and you know we're excited about it and uh, we're trying to cram in a lot early to, to get ourselves ready. Absolutely. Now, you've got a couple of new additions to the Sun Belt this year, so a couple more squads to, to be taking a look at. But how do you go about preparing for those teams that you may not have as much familiarity with? Well, uh, we know the coaches, and you know nowadays uh, all the films available to each other, and and uh, you you can prepare by by what you know of them, and then watching them on their film. So. You know, there's no secrets anymore in college football. Everybody kind of knows everybody else and, and what they do and films available. And our coaches, uh, we have a great staff, and our coaches work diligently at, at being prepared. You've also, of course, with those new additions, got the addition of Georgia Southern. Now, what is what is the possibility of having that, that Georgia State-Georgia Southern rivalry being formed with both teams in the same conference? Well, for it to be a rivalry, we have to prove that we're competitive at this level. Uh, Georgia Southern has a great tradition, great history. Uh, they've won national championships. They've had great coaches there and great players. And we're going to have to prove uh, to everybody that uh, we can compete with them and that uh, we can make it into a rivalry. And what are some of the team goals that you and your staff have set forth for this team this season? Win. <laughs> Win. I mean, it's simple. pretty simple. I mean, you know, we, you know, we, we last year we, we spent the year learning how to compete. And either you, when you're building a program, you got to do it in phases. You know, we, we didn't take over a program that has a long tradition and history of winning football games. We've only been playing football for four years. So we're in the process of establishing our own tradition, our own history. And uh, so we had to teach them how to compete. And we spent the whole off season and the whole season last year and all summer is teaching these guys the right attitude to approach things to compete off the field as well as on the field and now it's time to start winning competing to win and uh, you know that's that's the next step we have to take well that opportunity comes soon uh, august 27th playing abilene christian so best of luck coach thanks so much for stopping by and giving us some of your time thank you all right, we have just about wrapped things up here for the Sunbelt Social Suite. Be sure to stay tuned as we will come back and put a close on all of the fun that we've had today. You're watching the Sunbelt Social Suite.